Shalom. Jam. Shanti. We all want the same thing. Peace. And Rotary Clubs Salah. are making it happen. Through international scholarships to promote peace around the world. Peace. Rotary. Humanity in Motion. Santa Christmas cookies uh, and this is a really easy basic sugar cookie recipe uh, a lot of times when we think of sugar cookies we think we don't have enough time because uh, most of the time you make the batter you let it sit in the refrigerator and then you have to roll it out and cut it these are actually a drop sugar cookie you can still do some decorations on top which is always fun for the kids but it's very simple and a very quick recipe <music> For this recipe, we're going to need all-purpose flour, we're going to need baking soda, baking powder, butter softened, vanilla, sugar, and decorations. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take two and three quarters cup of flour, and um, we're going to put that kind of in a smaller bowl. Whenever you're measuring out your ingredients, remember you want to scoop into the cup, not dip the cup in, so that you get a good ratio of uh, flour, uh, and you not too much, not too little. We're going to level that off. And then we're going to add in our soda and our baking powder. A lot of recipes will ask you to sift that so that you get it blended more evenly. Uh, one of the ways that you can do it uh, as well is pour it in and then take a whisk and kind of whisk that around. It's also going to make your, uh, your mixture have a little bit more air, a little bit more uh, light. But you do want to make sure it's mixed in good. The fun thing, like I said, about uh, Christmas cookies is that you can get the whole family involved. There's a couple of different steps, and so each person can take a step. The next thing that we are going to do, we're just going to set that aside. We're going to measure out uh, one cup of flour, or excuse me, one cup of sugar. And remember, these are sugar cookies. So uh, although this recipe isn't uh, horribly high in fat. It still is uh, a little bit more. But what I always tell people uh, around the holidays is think more of balance and moderation. Um, you can go ahead and enjoy the sugar cookies, enjoy those things, but just don't eat half the batch or half the pan. We're going to add in our butter. It's very important in this recipe that your butter be very, very soft. And so you might want to uh, set that out uh, for just a little bit. The softer the butter, the chewier the cookie. Um, we're just going to take a hand mixer, and we're going to begin to cream that together. The tradition of uh, sugar cookies at Christmas time, or leaving uh, Christmas cookies out for Santa Claus, has to do with uh, bad little boys and girls trying to bribe Santa with, <laughs> with gifts. Uh, and then the good boys and girls putting them out as a thank you. Uh, it started way back uh, in the 1930s uh, and has kind of carried on since then. We're now going to add in our uh, vanilla and our egg and cream that. And then gradually add in our flour mixture. You don't want to put it all in there at once or it's going to get a little too stiff on you. You're not going to be able to blend it as well. So just add it in gradually and keep it going. We've gotten our dough mixture uh, blended together. It is kind of a doughy, uh, crumbly mixture, and so you do kind of finish it off with your hands uh, and get involved that way, which is okay because we're going to roll these into about a teaspoon uh, size. You might think that uh, sugar cookies are the most popular cookie left uh, on Christmas Eve, but actually it's the Oreo. Uh, and uh, so that's kind of a fun little fact there. Once we have our mixture all together, 
Like I said, we're going to use about a teaspoon size, and that doesn't mean that you have to uh, scoop out with a teaspoon, but you want to kind of keep it in check, uh, and so I always just like to have a teaspoon kind of set by. We've got our oven already preheated to 375, uh, and then we're just going to put the, uh, put the cookies on a cookie sheet or a jelly roll pan, uh, whichever one you have. And the fun thing about these is once you've got them rolled into the ball, well, then you can dip them into your sprinkles and have sprinkles on top of each one of your sugar cookies. Like I said, this is kind of a fun thing that we can do uh, very quickly with uh, kids or with other people. Uh, everybody can kind of take a turn uh, rolling the cookies and decorating them. And a lot of times we, we feel like around the holidays we're so busy and we've, we've got so many things going on. And it's good sometimes to just step back, do a little something uh, for tradition's sake. And so this is one of the ways we can do that. I'm going to just keep getting our cookies rolled up and sprinkled and pop them in the oven. Wanted to put them in there for about 8 to 10 minutes. I don't want to overbake them, so you want to pull them out just when they're barely beginning to become golden brown and then let them cool because a lot of times that's the key. We cook them too long and then they become a little bit hard uh, and, and crumbly instead of soft and chewy like we like our sugar cookies. So that's just kind of a tip there for you. You notice we've got our plate full of cookies that we put the red sprinkles on. I left a few of them uh, unsprinkled so that we could put some icing on. Uh, you can just get the uh, jar icing in the store and use that, or uh, now they come in uh, the containers where you can actually squeeze them out and maybe make different designs on them. And this is always a fun thing for the kids to do as well. Or just put a big glob and smooth it around. Now remember, sugar cookies are uh, pretty high in fat. Uh, they are, of course, higher, uh, have a high sugar content because that's what they are. Uh, by adding icing to it, we do increase that. But sugar cookies are something that everyone loves so much. And so whether you've been a good little boy or a bad little boy, uh, you can leave those out for Santa Claus uh, and hopefully get lots of things under your Christmas tree this year. Hope you have a very happy holidays uh, from the Food Corner and meet us back here at the beginning of the new year. Be sure to come back to the Food Corner, part of Newstar.com, for more demonstrations and recipes. And if you have any questions, contact the Pottawatomie County OSU Extension Office. We'd like to send a great thanks to Rock Creek Baptist Church for letting us use their facilities today. And remember, eat better, eat together.